Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this video we are going to take a look at the Atheser L2 24 watt diode laser engraver to see why at this moment I think this is the most advanced laser I have tested until now. If you don't want to see the specifications of this laser and immediately want to see the high-end features of this machine, well, there are timestamps in the description and they can bring you just there. The ATSER L2 is a second generation laser engraver, which really can't be compared to the first generation of machines like the ones here right behind me. This laser engraver combines a very high-end laser module with a controller that is capable of working closely together with for example Lightburn software and functions in this software that there were previously only there for CO2 laser machines they are now accessible and available for use with the next generation of diode laser engravers. But more on that in a few minutes. The ATSER L2 is available in three models, ranging from 12 watt up to 36 watts of light output power. And all of these lasers will be shipped with an air assist unit, very capable of giving you more than enough air pressure to make clean cuts. Now, in this video, we are going to take a look at the 24 watt model. And uh, well, this laser incorporates blazing fast speeds of up to 54,000 millimeters per minute with actual working acceleration. So these engraving speeds are not only numbers, but really usable. And uh, also this laser comes with a Z axis control that you don't see on that many other laser engravers. <laughs> Like some other brands who have C-axis control and use it for out of focus only, this laser is also controllable from within light burn over the Z-axis, making this laser a second generation machine. Another great functionality of this laser is its power loss recovery, which enables you to continue engraving after a power failure. But it only works when the engraving job is done from the internal controller of the machine. With the ATSER L2, positioning your laser over your workpiece is very easy. A cross positioning laser helps you with positioning your laser on the top of your workpiece and makes aligning your laser very easy. Focusing is done automatically with the autofocus function and a bunch of LEDs on the front of the laser will tell you exactly which power setting the laser is using to uh, engrave. And this is a very good indicator to see if the settings you think you are using are actually being used. If you want the machine to do repetitive tasks like engraving or cutting apart over and over again, you can choose to write that file to a USB thumb drive and start the task from within the built-in controller using the 4.3 inch touchscreen and uh, well, not only is this a great feature for batch processing engravings without the need of a computer that's connected to your machine, but also, for example, you can use it to do the engravings outside of your house for things that have a terrible smell on it, which you don't want to do inside your house. Now, of course, this laser is also equipped with modern safety features like limit switch on the X, Y and Z positions, a flame detector or a gyroscopic scanner that will detect if the laser is being tilted for more than 15 degrees, a child safety lock with a key and a protective cover to block the projected laser light as much as possible, of course. One feature this machine doesn't have is a giant stop button. But I have to say that I don't miss that at all, as there are many ways to stop the laser when, when you want to. And now for my findings. The ATSER L2 has a rigid frame and uses linear rails to control the motion. The laser module itself is mounted on a gantry that provides the Z-axis movement, which is fairly big yet it's light enough to be dragged around while the machine is working. I would have liked it if the suspension of the laser module itself had not hung so low, which would allow me to place thicker materials under the laser module, 
and now I need the optional available legs to raise the complete machine. The workable area of this machine covers 41 cm or 410 mm in a square, which is more than enough for most engraving jobs, but this is expendable with an upgrade, might you need a bigger work area. The spot size of this laser is 0.08 mm0.06mm, meaning that the curve is not the same for the x-axis as for the y-axis. Yet the difference is very small and I didn't have any problems with making accurate cuts. The 40mm focal length gives a very nice working distance, allowing you to, put, yeah, to play with the Z height, because that's the main feature of this machine. The adjustable Z height, which can be controlled via Lightburn software, gives you abilities I have never seen in any laser engraver that I have tested so far. With this feature you are able to move the height of the laser while this is busy engraving or cutting. Now imagine when you are cutting material in several passes and the laser head moves down every pass to compensate for the depth of your cut that is already made in the previous passes. This means you can cut deeper, but more importantly you can cut much cleaner with less charring. The people at a teaser claim that you will be able to cut 25% deeper into materials with this functionality compared to lasers uh, that have the same power but that don't have this functionality. Or how about engraving some parts uh, of your image while moving the laser out of focus, giving you the ability to control the black level of your engraving. For example, when a laser is in its perfect focus distance, it makes a sharp, greyish line that cuts pretty deep. While when the laser is positioned, for example, 10 or even 20 millimeters away from the focal point, the engraving will be less sharp, but it will look way darker. This adds controllability of your engraving, which I have never seen before on any other laser engraver. Now, for the black level and the possibilities to control the sharpness of the engraving, there is not yet a good test method in Lightburn. Like there is for example testing the engraving power and speed settings or the cutting power and speed settings. A link to my Lightburn test file for testing the focus possibilities can be found on my website for free. Yet, of course, donating a cup of coffee via PayPal, it would be much appreciated. As I was writing uh, with someone about this laser test on my channel, he asked me specifically to run a test uh, where I cut a 15 mm square out of 3 mm thick material and then to show this in real time so he could, uh, he could see how much time it would take. Well, Neil, here you are. Now for the positive and negative things about this machine. On the positive side, I really love the uh, controllability from within Lightburn software. The possibilities to have control over the black level of my engravings, as well as the sharpness of the engraved lines, is something I've never seen before. The fact that this laser can autofocus is a welcome addition as well, of course, and the speed at which uh, it can engrave is great, making this machine a real workhorse for a small production business or a lasing, uh, laser engraving enthusiast. The cutting abilities are very good, although 
you might want to consider the 36 watt version of this laser if that's your main goal. Yet cutting through wood and acrylic worked really well and I've uh, even cut 9 mm thick MDF which was handled by the laser very very well. On the negative side I must say that the height of the laser mounting platform is not high enough above the workspace and this is a minor problem but, yeah, but I would have loved it to have more space under the uh, laser for thicker materials. Also the package doesn't include a honeycomb grid and really you need one. Uh, if you want to use th this laser for cutting and, and it has a great air assist to do that as well, you need a honeycomb grid. Now, as a full disclaimer, you have to know that I received this laser for a review for free. Yet the company agreed to my review guidelines, which state that I review machines without any bias and you see the video at the same time the company does. Everything I said about the Aeteaser L2 laser engraver were my own findings and no money has, uh, yeah, has exchanged for this review. My review guidelines can be found on my website if you want to read them. Now that's all for now and if you want to see more about laser engraving or 3D printing you can watch the videos on the right of me or you can uh, yeah, go and subscribe to my channel to stay updated. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later, bye!